So how does one choose between competency-based and outcomes-based education? Well, if we take a look at our continuum and we remember that competency-based education is focusing on skills, information, assessments, it's usually content-centered. And then on the other side, we've got uh, outcomes-based education, which deals with authentic real-world learning uh, opportunities and assessment, and it's much more learning-centered. Well, we need to find out where we are at. Now, I want to caution you. Um, you might be in a circumstance where you might find yourself or you might think you're closer towards the middle, and you might want to do a little bit of both in your um, in your uh, curriculum design uh, for the purposes of what we're doing in this course I would encourage you not to do that don't try to blend these two they can be done it's not easy to do but I focus on one aspect or the other that will really help you clarify your thinking and so um, you need to take a look at what you are doing but focus on one aspect uh, or the other and I, I think you'll be on the right track so if you're looking at choosing competency-based education, you would do so based on some of these criteria. So is the content to be learned something that will happen in a step-by-step -step format, right? Uh, is this for beginners where students are unfamiliar with the content? Is this an introductory level course? Um, are students learning processes or procedures? Are students being assessed in a class setting using typical quizzes, standardized testing, um, essays that it, you use information regurgitation, those types of things, information delivery, retrieval, and then um, assessment. That's competency based. Um, are you focusing on discrete skills or knowledge or attitudes at the end of the course that you're going to be testing as you go along? This is when you would choose competency based education. And when you do choose competency based education, you are then going to create a DACOM chart. And then from that DACOM chart, you're going to choose 10 performance objectives because remember, you're, you're, uh, you're, all, you're focusing on what the student will be able to do. You take those 10 performance objectives and you uh, write those up and then you take one of those performance ob objectives and you develop a lesson plan. So these are the key aspects of what you're doing in the uh, program here in the, in the course. Now, if this isn't for you, if competency-based education isn't what you're focusing on, just to confirm, outcomes-based education is really about helping the student get that big, broad picture, uh, the 50,000-foot the view, so to speak. Are students integrating previous knowledge? Are they synthesizing things? Are they doing an analysis? Here's the key. Are you using an authentic assessment? Are you using authentic learning opportunities? For example, in this course, you are building a real curriculum profile chart. You're building a course plan. You're building um, a lesson plan. You, you're, you're, you're building something that you can actually use in a real setting. In addition to authentic settings, you know you can be working on things like simulations, job placements, uh, practicums, portfolios. These types of assessments that you know provide a different context. Um, are the students working at a more advanced level? perhaps uh, about to enter the workforce. Now, is the content complex? Are you integrating skills, knowledge, and attitudes? You know, is it really about that synthesis of ideas? Or again, I'm going to repeat the analysis component. Is there that creation component? Are they building something new? If that is the case, then what you're going to do is you're going to use this form here, uh, the Course Outcomes Guide Worksheet. You're going to develop some themes, and then you're going to work from a backwards perspective from the course outcomes to the assessments and skills and, and basic concepts and, and work this way through the format. So the key thing uh, to understand or to, to really be successful in this course is to choose one of the two particular formats and then you'll definitely be on your way. Now, if there are any issues or any questions that you have, um, you know, please don't hesitate to contact me. Set up a time to meet. Um, this is a key decision that you need to make, and I can help you do that. Because this is a comp, uh, an outcomes-based course, my job is to be that guide, that mentor, that facilitator to help you make those decisions about what you're going to be doing in your authentic setting.